For the past 25 years, I've worked in an institution with developing delayed adults. Then I decided to bring it home by fostering autistic kids. I would like to bring the experience that I have gained from these two things together to help you achieve a normal life. Hi you guys, Tani here. You know, I actually wanted to help out the community of autistic kids who actually have to deal with pica. Pica is this um, thing that happens to kids who have the form of autism or development delayed disabilities. Um, they want to eat unedible things, you know, and a lot of times it's sheets, it's their clothing items, it's you know, little toys. Everything goes into their mouth and they will try eating everything. And that's one thing Curtis has. Curtis is actually considered pica um, because he'll even eat rocks, he eats dirt. Um, and so because of this, I wanted to bring this to you guys and show you guys what I've used for Curtis. To, um, and now he's kind of over it. Like he doesn't try to eat his sheets anymore. He will sometimes, you know, suck on his clothing and stuff like that, but he doesn't eat his sheets anymore. So Sometimes these kids grow out of it, but when he was younger, he actually went after the sheets a lot. And so I wanted to show you guys um, about how I got this sheet. This sheet, if you guys see how durable it is, he can't, because what he would do is he would find a string on these sheets and he would try, that's where he would usually start eating. And so um, out in the institution, they actually had sewing departments that made these sheets for clients who did eat their sheets. And so I actually found this one. You could still find them online. You can buy them. And they're sturdy. See, they're, it's hard for them to rip. Um, but the bad part about it is it goes over their whole, um, it goes over their whole mattress pad. And that's what I hated because then when Curtis would wet the bed, then you know, I would have to wash this thing. So I had to get a couple of them. So get a couple of them if you buy them because you will go through them. But see how this opens up? And then you stick the mattress right inside and then you could zip them up. And so the kids who actually go for the zippers too, this has this little Velcro thing here and that you could just Velcro it away that hides the zippers. Okay guys, so I wanted to give you guys this information that it is out there and I'll post that below too. Another thing you could do when they um, try to go after their clothes is get one of these jumpsuits. This is a mechanic jumpsuit and it's durable. So see how sturdy these mechanic jumpsuits are? This is for a mechanic that works on your car, but you know what? These are sturdy. They're sturdy and it's harder for the kids to rip up and try to eat. So I just thought I'd bring this out to you two guys today. Um, you could buy these sometimes at Walmart, but I'll also put down where I actually buy them from. I actually buy them from a linen store. They actually sell these things, but see how it looks? So it's like a jumpsuit that they could wear um, during the day, um, I do have one of my kids wearing this right now um, for a different behavior that he has. But I wanted to bring this to you guys to let you know there are other things out there that can help ease your life a little bit. Um, so make sure you get two of those sheets if they're still bedwetters, okay? Because you're going to be washing it. Um, but this will help you a lot. It's a little at ease instead of them ripping up their clothes all the time. These are a lot more sturdier and a lot, last a lot more longer, okay? So I'll put the price down there. I'll put where I get them from. And, you know, hopefully we can all strive to have the best life possible, right? So if you guys have any comments or any new ideas, please post them below. And please subscribe to our channel because it takes an army to raise our kids, right? Bye for now.